April 24, Friday of the second week of Easter A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John Jesus went across the Sea of Galilee A large crowd followed him because they saw the signs he was performing on the sick Jesus went up on the mountain and there he sat down with his disciples The Jewish feast of Passover was near When Jesus raised his eye and saw that a large crowd was coming to him he said to Philip, Where can we buy enough food for them to eat? He said this to test him, because he himself knew what he was going to do. Philip answered him, Two hundred days' wages worth of food would not be enough for each of them to have a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, said to him, There is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish. But what good are these for so many? Jesus said, Have the people recline. Now there was a great deal of grass in that place, so the men reclined, about five thousand in number. Then Jesus took loaves, gave thanks, and distributed them to those who were reclining, and also as much of the fish as they wanted. When they had their fill, he said to his disciples, Gather the fragments left over, so that nothing will be wasted. So they collected them, and filled twelve wicker baskets with fragments from the five barley loaves that had been more than they could eat. When the people saw the sign he had done, they said, This is truly the prophet, the one who is to come into the world. Since Jesus knew that they were going to come and carry him off to make him king, he withdrew again to the mountain alone. The Gospel of the Lord The Prophet John situates the multiplication of bread and fish on the mountain. He means to allude to the time when God will feed his people in abundance. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will provide for all peoples a feast of rich food and choice wines, juicy, rich food, and pure, choice wines. The multiplication itself is connected with the Eucharist, the special food of God's people. In fact, the multiplication of bread leads to a greater sign, Jesus as the bread of life. The crowds think of Jesus as the prophet, probably a prophet like Moses. Through Moses, God gave the Israelites manna to eat, Jesus feeds the hungry crowd, but he prepares for the people a much better bread, his very self.